In this video, I challenge myself to recreate 10 of the most iconic, famous, and important inventions in LEGO. Then I'm gonna take each invention and motorize or mechanize them so they actually work. Okay, so the first important invention I want to replicate is the car, because without it, we would still be pulling up to the crib like this. So I'm gonna try and build a motorized version of the first ever car, which was made by Mercedes. First, I'll make a frame to hold everything together, as well as an engine at the back using this tiny motor and battery box that powers this axle here. Let's go, it actually spins. The first car was made in 1886, only had three wheels, and cost about $150. Yeah, I don't think I can afford that. But we're not done yet, so I'll add some details like this foot bar here. Wow, I grabbed the exact amount I needed. The bench at the top and this steering stick, because the steering wheel wasn't invented for another eight years. And finally, it needs some wheels. Nope, wrong kind. Too small, too thick, too big, too wooden, too pink. Wait, Lego makes pink tires? I'm gonna have to get creative and build my own wheels using lots of these hinge pieces to make a large circle. And here's what I came up with. Let's see how it drives. Wow, I'd feel so cool pulling up to school in this. But to truly put it to the test, I'm gonna build a course for it to drive on. Bruh. Well, honestly, it did better than I expected. Another famous invention is the microscope, so I'll build a base using this large plate and some different white parts to build up the rest. Then, to make it cooler, I'm gonna use these LEGO gear pieces to raise the table up and down, and finally I'll add this magnifying glass piece for one of the lenses since it actually works. Okay, let's see what we can look at up close. And I'll compare it to my phone because it can take macro shots. Here's a minifigure. And here's the same minifigure with my camera. Wow, I can see the paint marks on each eye. What about fabric? Well, it looks the same under the microscope, but my phone can literally see each individual thread. I think that was a flop, but at least it looks cool. Next, why don't we build a telephone? You know, those things people used to use to make calls that didn't have games, a camera, and a touchscreen. I'll start by building the holder for the phone using a simple mechanism so the rotary dial spins. You used to have to put a phone number in like this, and then I'll use some special curve pieces to make the phone on the top. And I can use this long tube piece as the cord. I wonder who I can call on this. Hello? Who is this? Hey the B3, you know I'm gonna beat you to a mill, right? If you wanna do that, you're gonna have to invent a lot more things, so get back to work. Mm, yeah, you're probably right. Man, that guy. Oh, hold on, I didn't hang up. You know I'm still on the call, right? Oh, sorry. Subscribe so I don't lose the sub race. Also, I just put this on LEGO Ideas. If it gets 10,000 votes, it has a chance of becoming a set. It's been a dream of mine for ages to get 10,000 votes. Please go vote. Link in the description. Thanks. Okay, those are three super cool inventions with working functions, but there are many more I can't fit in this video as large models. So before I do the last three, here's a speed round of small builds you can build with your bricks. Here's a simple design for a wheel using 12 LEGO bricks. Another cool invention is the compass, and I have this cool LEGO tile that has one printed on it. But it's super small, so here's the simple design for a life-size compass. We've got north, south, east, and west. Another super famous invention was the light bulb, so I used a sideways building technique to make this simple build. Okay, this this next one's kind of random, but I found it on multiple lists when I was looking for famous inventions, so here's some caveman learning to use fire for warmth, cooking, and light. A more modern invention is batteries, so I replicated one using some random parts for my bin. Let's see if it works. Ah, well that failed. Here's a simple build you can make of a fridge using a door as the front, and we can place any type of food we want in it. X-rays were invented in 1895, so here's a minifigure, and then I slide him through here. Whoa, I can see his plastic bones. And now he's broke from his American medical bill. But now he's rich because this next invention was money. It worked. No way, he's rich now. Another important invention was guns, so here's a couple that I found in my collection. Wait, does this count as a gun? We already rent over fire, but here's a match, which was invented in 1826. Will it light on fire? That's kind of lame. A fun invention that we all probably enjoyed was a bike. So here's a red one, a pink one, an orange one, and a blue one. I feel like I'm at one of those bike stores where they have them all lined up. And here's a design for a watch using some treads as the band and a Lego clock piece for the face. And here's a simple build for a minifigure scale fire extinguisher which was invented in 1723 over a hundred years before the match. And this is a simple build for a push lawnmower for your minifigures to use. Another useful invention was the tape measure, so I built one up like this. Then I'll build the back wall here, and when I pull on the end, just kidding, it was hidden behind the wall. And finally, here's a pretty easy design to make a Swiss army knife. You can pretty much use any random pieces as attachments. I use a sword, a gear, a machete, and here's a chainsaw and a wrench. Okay, and now that we've sped around some of the most famous inventions, I'm gonna try and make a working drone. The first one was an unmanned plane, but I'm gonna make a modern version starting with the body using some black bricks. I'll add some legs at the bottom as well as four arms that hold the small motors to turn the propeller. And now let's see if it works. 
I've also seen cool videos of people using drones to get awesome shots, so let's see if we can make one with this drone. One of the most important inventions has to be planes, so I'm going to build the first plane from 1903 that was built by the Wright brothers, as well as a modern passenger plane to compare them both. Here's the Wright Flyer, which had double wings, these flaps at the front, and a propeller on each side. And I'll build a modern plane using these pieces from the plane set I have, but that's pretty boring, so I'll add my own custom turbines that actually spin on each wing, and a fully detailed interior with a first class section with small beds, some rows for normal seating, and a bathroom at the back. Wow, we've definitely come a long way in plane technology. Now, let's see if they will fly. Bruh. Yeah, the new plane definitely did better, but it's also made of these giant pieces, which almost feels like cheating. We can also look at some LEGO sets for inventions, like this Viking village. Vikings are known for inventing battle axes and shields, which this set has plenty of, as well as combs and skis. This LEGO castle also has a pretty big invention, the water wheel, which is used here to power this small mill. The Dark Ages were also the time when mechanical clocks were invented, gunpowder was invented, as well as eyeglasses and the blast furnace. Oh wait, that's a Minecraft one. Steve, come get your block back. The medieval times were also known for the invention of the plow, adult apple juice, and cannons. Okay, for the final invention, I scoured multiple lists on the internet and did a lot of research to see what the coolest and most challenging to build invention I could find was. So I'm gonna try and build a working robotic arm using hydraulic pieces, but I don't have any yet, so I bought these two sets that do. They both have useful parts, but I think this one has exactly what I need. These tires are massive. It feels so cursed to open a set and only take a couple pieces from it. Here's the hydraulic pieces. We've got switches, the pistons. This is the pump, and if I pump it, I can push air out of here. And if I take a tube, plug it into here, stick two on here, and then route it to this arm. If I pump, nothing happens. But if I go here, I can extend the arm. Then if I want to lower it, I can do this way. And I'm gonna build two different arms using a bunch of Technic parts like these beams that will create two sections that move with the hydraulics. If I open the valve, it turns this one on to run air to here, as well as this claw that can also be controlled by the hydraulic pump. I actually built one of these in one of my school classes, and I'm hoping that it works the same. Alrighty, I think it should work now. Each valve here switches where the air goes, so I hopefully when I push down on the pump here, yo, I can't believe that works. But before we can test it to see what it can pick up, we need to make it look better. Let's see what it can pick up. How about a person? What about a giraffe? And let's try this F1 car. Come on. And finally, let's combine all the inventions we built in this video. That's not everything, but it's all that survived the carnage. Thanks for watching and comment below your favorite invention.